Alright, what's up YouTube? Uh, this is Pilar177 here, and I'm going to show you how to install the Pokemobs mod for Minecraft 1.2.5. And so, this mod, it basically makes Pokemon uh, in Minecraft. So, first, you will have to get all these files. Um, shouldn't really bother about this one. I was just trying stuff. Um, and... Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so, um, what you will need, I'll post a link on the description, um, for, uh, Pokemobs. Official Pokemobs. And, once it starts... Loading. Load. Still loading. Scroll all the way down. Get a bunch of these files. Um, you can get mod loader and audio mod here. To uh, Resigumi's mods. Uh, I will also post a link for bo for this uh, page. So, yeah. Um, I would highly suggest downloading Direct, but downloading AppFly supports. I just download Direct because I'm that mean. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, mod loader's up here. Audio mod is up here. So, you just download those. Um, then, you go over here to mod loader mp nah, never mind you don't go to mod loader mp um you go to well i will post link in the description about this one uh, as well I've come across this before, and so you get this. It is an ad file link, unfortunately, but oh well, you can manage. Um, and then you get the Doctor Zark's custom mob spawner link thingy. I uh, go all the way here for Minecraft 1.2.5. Click it. Um, and so yeah, I think you're good for that. Oh, and you have to obviously download Pokemobs 1.2.5. Okay. Um, also, uh. You could um, put. You, you can download uh, MC Patcher. It's like a lot easier way to um, to get uh, the mod running. And if you don't, like if you fail on something, like I generally do, uh, this is a good mod thing for you. So you get this, go all the way to the download link, all the way to the download link, and one of these, don't really know, haven't downloaded this for a long time. So yeah, um, now you stick um, Pokemobs, um, there's two things that you should do. Uh, the first one is you should get this mod. Um, you go to percent app data percent to get the roaming folder thing. You click it. Uh, dot Minecraft. 
resources and then you just drag this I already have it dragged in you know what I'll just drag it again okay now for MC Patcher if you just drag this in it's not gonna really work so you have to what I did was I dragged this out put it in a folder um, then I sorry can't talk um, I double clicked on this no I did not do that I compressed it using 7-zip or whatever archiving software you'll f probably figure out how to compress it if not then I don't know what to do add to archive archive format zip don't need to do anything else okay now that you have this delete this put this in here drag all these make sure there's everything in here confirm file copy there you go and I would just call up Pokey Mobs because everything that goes in your jar is a stupid name. And so, yeah, you've got all your stuff. Now, to stick this into MC Patcher. Um, go to MC Patcher. It's not going to have this sign, it's probably going to have something else for you. I just put that because the default sign is kind of dumb just boring actually so yeah um okay so what unpatch uh so you click mods add mod loader mod loader mp um, Pokemobs, custom mob spawner, an audio mod, just go that, open, I already did that, but yeah, you just do that for all of them, click all that, all those, click patch, patch anyway, and, yeah, um, just in case something weird happens, um, you should test it to to know that that it is that this world is, or that Pokemobs is installed on your computer. I already created a world, um, but you should you you should put it on creative mode just to test survival. You can. Make like a Pokemon adventure and stuff. Um, it will probably not show all this stuff, but it'll say like Stone Pokemon 0 0.5. So, here's my world with Pokemon. Have fun with the mod. Goodbye.